Welcome to Barrow Mag Interviews. This is your host, Leonardo Calcano. My name is Leela Gilday. I'm from Yellowknife Northwest Territories. I'm a singer-songwriter, and my uh, independent record label is called Diva Sound Records. Excellent. Can you tell me about the uh, Diva Sound Records? It's essentially just a label for me to release my own uh, okay, CDs yeah. under. So <laughs> it's, it's a very umbrella. entrepreneur. Uh, yeah, exactly. And um, I have. I'm working on my fifth record, so we've released four records. Okay, and yeah. uh, I I have been full-time in music for 16 years now and uh, running as a sole entrepreneurship um, for that entire time. So, Excellent. Yeah. So how important is it for an event like this for you? It's uh, very important to be here um, from a business perspective. It's an investment, you know, there's, it's an investment in future bookings, in relationships, um, networking, and it's sort of critical to have your face be recognized and seen. Uh, much like any other industry, um, it's important to be present. So it's while I travel great distances to be at events like this, and it's you know quite costly, um, it usually works out in my favor. Excellent. Yeah. So tell me, I just took you that you just took you out from the speed dating. Yeah. <laughs> How do you prepare yourself for speed dating? Um, I like <laughs> to read the people's bios that okay. I'm going to be meeting with, and and you know, it's not necessarily uh, that you want to get something from everybody it's just the first step in building a relationship because I think that's especially in the music industry that's the starting that's the building block from where you have to start and um, so I like to read people's biographies I didn't read them as carefully today as <laughs> I I have in the past because of course they came quite late but uh, um, yeah and then just think about how we could work together in various ways so how's it going right now? Is it great? Is yeah. it good? Excellent. Yeah. So can you give us like a little music guide of the Yellow Knife? What's happening up there? What kind of music is have, growing up there for your? your sure, scene? absolutely. Well, we have um, a couple of flagship events during the year. Um, the music festival called Folk on the Rocks, which is uh, 35 years old, I believe. Okay. 36 years old. It might be almost 40 years old. Um, and that's a big summer music festival, third weekend in July. And then we have the uh, Snow Castle event where uh, the Snow King builds a castle made of snow and ice on the lake in yeah. March. Um, and there's a whole month of, of events, uh, lots of music. So we have a lot of independent musicians that, uh, that play in and around Yellowknife at you know, events like this, but also various little venues, coffee shops and bars. Um, and then we have a theater, uh, a small soft seat theater, which is our main um, cultural sort of hub. Okay. Um, and there's a, I'd say the voices that come out of the north are quite unique because of the cultural um, history and the land surrounding. So we have a lot of um, people who use traditional music in their, in their like traditional Dene music and or Inuvialuit music in their um, art and then we there's like a strong fiddling scene like Métis fiddling scene um, there's it's quite diverse actually um, it's a little microcosm are you doing a showcase today? yes tomorrow night excellent yeah. well thank you very much yeah thanks